Hello. It is I, once again, the Bruce Wayne of Azure Lane, back at it again for another Azure Lane video. And it turns out, um, so we're getting a bunch of stuff uh, coming down the pipeline that I thought I would just make. There's enough to make a video on it. And I was like, okay, so we get a couple uh, new skins. And this is all stuff that will get introduced uh, fairly soon, it looks like. So uh, the first thing, I mentioned this when I did the maintenance summary video, but I did not blow it up and examine it in detail. That's what she said. Um, so here we go. This is Kaga's new skin. And it looks like she's, I don't know, wandering through an oasis. We got some, uh, I don't know, Prince of Egypt thing kind of going on here. Yeah, she looks like a snow silk fox dance. Like, okay. It almost looks borderline like an oath skin. Borderline like an oath skin, but not not quite. Not enough cloth. Anyway, um, I like. I don't know. It actually looks kind of nice. I like. I like. She has the razor disc, uh, throwing things. I don't know what to call those. There's a term for those. But I don't, I forget, I can't remember it off the top of my head right now. Anyway, um, yeah, I like this skin. This is a nice one. He has those like, uh, you know, biblical times looking sandals. <laughs> All right. So you, you get this as a, uh, cruise pass. Um, or if you, you get this with the cruise pass, I believe. No, wait, purchase fair winds pass. Yeah. Okay. And complete cruise missions to obtain. So. Yeah, that's Kaga's skin, everybody. All right, now moving on to uh, my... what uh, I would say there, there's the concert event, which it looks like there's some kind of event where all the girls go to a concert. And um, Prince Heinrich's skin is spectacular. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is, this is amazing. Right here, I like the dress. The, you know, it's like a strawberry or cherry red dress and um, this man Jew was having the time of his life playing this um oh god my my i'm brain farting right now okay uh let me see there's another man Jew just chilling there in the back hitting the drums <laughs> i like the expressions anyway um it looks she looks inspired by jessica rabbit from um who framed roger rabbit like that's the first thing that comes to mind when i look at this it looks like jessica rabbit anyway moving on to the next skin we get and um chapayev skin okay so this skin is already you know infamous in the Azure Lane community for one, two, uh, mainly one very specific reason. Anyway, I don't know if I should zoom in on this. So um, as you can see, I'll just try and see how I can. Uh, no, okay, so le let me just make this clear. You see this can right here? Uh, before I scroll down, this is a can that has, it looks like a, some kind of symbol on it. I don't know what this is. It looks like it could be oil or wax or something you would apply to a piano to clean it. But uh, for whatever reason, she dipped her foot in it. And right now it comes off looking like this. <laughs> wow, Manju. Way to double entendre. Anyway, <laughs> um, this skin is already infamous in the community. Chapayev is is going full ara ara here. Um, I like this dress, by the way. It almost, like I said, this dress almost looks borderline like an oath skin. Like, like this, this, it's like some some of um. Oh, well, I said that about uh, Kaga skin, but this dress for Chapayev looks borderline like an oath skin, and she has glass slippers, you know, kind of like Cinderella. Anyway. Moving on, I don't know why she has the little, the little, um, you know, instructor stick. I don't know what, to, yeah. Looks like she's a piano instructor for Shiki Khan. Next skin. And now Unicorn gets a skin. And um, it is called Blissful Moment. And she is laying 
down on a circular piano and the unicorn is playing a trumpet which i mean like you know and she has a trumpet in her hands so and then there's a dove here so uh this is unicorn skin illustrious gets a skin as well i don't know what this concert event is going to be i'm very curious i'm very curious anyway so yeah she is playing um oh my gosh what is this thing called again a harp that's right so yeah um i gotta say uh, i don't know what the uh inspiration was behind her dress but it's got these like um if you look at what's on um you know her chest right here it looks like a butterfly almost some kind of butter butterfly oriented looking ribbon there and then um yeah she actually looks illustrious <laughs> i like the skin it looks like she's sitting on um or she's playing on water like her toes are touching water interesting moving on to the next uh skin which is cleveland who is straight up acting as a conductor and i gotta say um whenever cleveland does anything dapper she does it well yeah this is this is an interesting um yeah this is gonna be she she looks straight up like a conductor and that knows what they're doing so go good job for you cleveland all right and then laffy gets a skin and she is i don't know what she is laying on these are either rocks or no these are not okay i thought they might have been giant pillows but it looks like they're rocks yeah yeah there's a jungle or you know there's plants in the background she's just laying on on some rocks i guess okay you do you laffy i guess you can sleep anywhere all right uh amagi is gets this skin right here the red kite respite and let me zoom in on this for research purposes only by the way exclusively for always research purposes um i like the legs this is just very nicely well drawn uh legs right here and um yeah i happen to like the the dress looks all right too yeah she's just relaxing on the couch hmm interesting go amagi and then we get taiho chan taiho chan will be coming down the line and um Taiho Chan, I don't know what her skills are, but it's probably a watered down version of real Taiho. Anyway. And this was announced on the Chinese server. And it is a um it's supposed to be introduced into the gear lab. And I'm guessing it will be a follow-up um that will be upgraded via parts from the current Focke Wolf 190 variant we have in there. But if this is the Focke Wolf 190 A6 r6 and uh here's the thing is if you look under the wings it looks like it has uh some rockets and i think it's this weapon right here which leads me to believe it might be a rocket fighter that is um oriented at heavy armor targets this is just a guess this is just you know some speculation that they're saying in the reddit but um i, I don't know if i'm going to pronounce this correctly uh woofer granite 21 rocket launcher also known as the br21 and um it was a weapon used by the luftwaffe during world war ii and was the first onboard rocket placed into service by the luftwaffe first introduced in mid 1934 based on uh this infantry rocket um so it's a um it was aimed specifically at trying to knock out uh heavy bombers so it's a, you can see them loading it here. It is a, it is literally just one giant rocket loaded into one giant loader. And uh, apparently it was used also though against ground targets in late 19 
43 and onwards. So um, it was, you know, it's it is aimed. It was supposed specifically made to take out heavy bombers, but it was also used as an air to surface weapon. So I'm wondering if they're going to make it uh, the weapon of choice for knocking out uh, heavy armored enemies. That would be interesting. As I have said this before, what I am really wanting is a UR fighter. And I'm hoping that UR fighter is the ME262. But I'm really happy we got this. Or we're getting this. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this does. And I will make videos based on his performance. Anyway. That's all I got for you today, guys. Uh, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And uh, I wish you all you, uh, I wish all you shiki cons a farewell and following seas. Take it easy.